Coogan Cass, this I called CVMTK Global. I'm here with Adam Morley. How are you, mate? I'm all right. I'm all right. Thanks, Good. Coogan. How are you? Bit of a different press conference to the last one we had at the Dorchester. Yeah, very much so. I mean, look, David's in a slightly different place. He's focused. He knows what he needs to do. He knows what he needs to do. And I think he's got a bit more respect for Tony after what happened. Obviously, he made this comparison of the robbing the bank uh, in comparison, yeah. obviously, to Tony's win. Uh, what did you make of that? I think what David was trying to say was that some people would go to great lengths and great danger in order to get a reward. And that's what Tony did. He put it all on the line. He put it on the line because of his family uh, and he was willing to do it. And he put his life at risk to, to fight David. And I think David was saying, why would you do that again? Why would you do that again when you've got the bounty you've made off with, with what you've got? Why would you do that again? And I think he was asking Tony what his motivation was for the second fight. Very clear what it was for the first fight provide for his family. I don't know what it is for the second fight. I think Tony alluded to a few things in the press conference, but I think that was the point David was making. Obviously, no one knows David's own body better than David himself, and he's very confident that, you know, the, the ankle won't be an issue in particular come uh, December 17th. Mm -hmm. um, are you confident as well that this Absolutely. injury is gone completely? And Look, he's had, a, he's had a very serious injury, but he's analysed everything, and I think you, you can't just look at one small part of the machine it's about the whole machine and he's we've looked at everything and he's adapted and he's analyzed and now he's going through piece by piece part of that is his fitness and his conditioning which is very 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 strong in part of that is his boxing with Ishmael Salas who's you know we didn't speak about him enough at the press conference actually exceptional trainer exceptional trainer and I think that people are going to be very impressed with what they see Tony said that, you know, he caused David's body to break down. Um, but in your opinion, a fit David Hay, would it be the outcome that David predicted in the first fight that, you know, uh, this would go early? And I, think it's, I think it's important that you have to accept what happened in the first fight. Tony won, David lost. And there are no excuses. Whether or not David's body broke down because of what Tony did, whether or not... There's an L against Hay and a W against Bellew. That's it. Finished. Um, what do I think is going to happen this time? I don't. I think David is going to knock him out. That's what I think. I think David will concussively knock him out. I think talk of rounds and um, you know where exactly when or what. I think we'll see a different David, and I think he will knock him out. Mm. I mean, we didn't expect that fight to go to eleven rounds, so it's unpredictable to know what round this could end in. Uh, no, I in think itself. It's, I think people love to make round-based predictions. I think um, it was so unpredictable, the first fight. There were so many factors that occurred in the ring that night. But I think David's in control of a lot. He's in control of a lot. And he knows what he's got to face. And I think, as Tony said, both of them walked in there and both of them know the other man better now. They both know the other man better. And I think David, as he said in the press conference, was impressed with Tony's heart impressed with how he kept going and kept going and David's not throwing around predictions like it's going to end in two rounds and anything like that I think David's very confident so am I it will end in a knockout December 17th we shall find out great stuff a Adam thank you very much for to Eiffel TV and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you uh, ahead of that Sunday night cheers Keegan thank you